everyone, welcome back. This video is going to walk you through how to find whatever it is that you're looking for and to search. You're going to want to start with all movies and TV. In the last video, I, I said that this is where you would go if you already know what you're going to want to watch and you just want to search it. So go ahead and select it. You always want to give everything a little bit of time to load just so it, you don't overload it. If you want to watch a movie, go ahead and select movies. You can search A to Z. You can type in what you're looking for. You can search by genre, featured, most popular, highly rated, date release, date added, and a more descriptive search. If you search A to Z, keep in mind that once you select whatever letter it is that you want to search within, it is going to give you every single title with that letter in it. And it's going to take a lot longer to load. Then once it loads, you're going to have to weed through to find all the uh, titles for whatever country it is you're searching because it's going to give you every title throughout the world under with that letter. If you go into search, select it, you can just type in whatever it is you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and do pretty in pink. You can select one letter or one word, but it's going to give you all the titles with that and it takes a little bit longer to load. So I just chose an 80s movie because it was one of my faves. Then you want to hit, just hit done and you'll see at the top right corner it says working and there it is. Pretty in Pink from 1986. It gives you a short description of the movie, the cover, the name, the date, and then you want and the top run time and the rating. So you can go ahead and select it. I had already started watching it for about 40 seconds, so it's giving me the option to resume where I left off or to start from the beginning. I'll just go ahead and select resume. Then it gives you a list of links on everywhere that you can watch it from. On the left hand side, you'll see these all say DVD. Sometimes they say HD, sometimes they say SD, sometimes they say CAM. DVD or HD are always the best quality. Sometimes even DVD is standard definition though, but as long as it doesn't say CAM, you'll have a pretty decent picture. CAM means that somebody recorded it in the movie theater or at their home and it's just not ever the best picture. Um, you'll see on the right side it says how many views there have been. There, rumor has it that if you choose a link that has more views that it's better. I don't always find that that's the case. It's really on your personal preference. I mean, I'm just gonna go, gonna go ahead and search, or sorry, play the first one. If for some reason you get an error that says stream not available, go to the next one. And there you have it. It just uh, it just starts streaming. This one streamed where I left off. If you choose play from the beginning, it'll play from the beginning. This is actually a pretty decent picture for being from 1985. So I'm thinking that the DVD version isn't as bad as if it's not HD. I guess it's better than VHS, right? I'm going to go ahead and pause it. When you pause it, you'll just see all the basic. This actually is a standard definition. You can see that at the bottom. You always want to pause it before you go and hit back to select the next thing. Not because it's required, but because I find that it just helps it run the next viewing faster. It doesn't really have to stop what it's doing and rethink about what it's going to do next. If you go to genre, this is where you can search genre. Everybody knows what a genre is. Again, if 
if you search action, comedy, children's, it's going to give you titles from all over the world. So you're still going to have to weed through it. Featured. This is where you find all the movies that are featured, including ones that are still in theaters. I'm going to go ahead and select that for you, just so you can briefly see. They all say new. Some of them aren't that new. Um, I don't have cable. I just use this box, so I don't even really know what's in theaters right now. I think San Andreas is in theaters. So I'll just go ahead and select that. TS. I'm not sure what TS means, so we're just going to go ahead and select it. Uh, this act clearly is someone recorded it in the movie theater. You can see that the picture quality is not good. You'll probably see some heads walking across the bottom anytime now. It's very blurry. Not a good picture at all. Sometimes if you pause it and give it a chance to buffer, the picture will get better. But this one clearly isn't, it's not going to get any better because it's not a good quality viewing. So I paused it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button. I know that um, the movie Home just came out, but it's not in theaters anymore, I don't think. Then most popular, that's just going to give you a, a totally different list of what has been rated most popular. through, And it's not at any time range or any um, launch date. It just whatever has been voted at somewhere on the internet, what has been most popular. Highly rated, same thing. There are several pages in each one too. So if you were to go down to the bottom and hit, ne oh, hit to the right and select, oops, sorry, hit to the right here and select next page. Make sure it's highlighted white. And there are usually several pages for you to go through if you want to do so. Kingsman, and this gives you um, the list on the left, and then you'll get the plot and the image on the right. As you can see, it is movies from all over the world as well. I just want to point out, if you hit this left arrow button over, you can kind of customize each section like... Your, the way it views. So this one's on fan art info. If we were to, se to keep selecting through, you could find one that works best for you. I like to go with the ver uh, not vertical logo, full wall. That way it gives you all the titles and the covers of their, their DVD cases. So I'm going to hit the back button. So I'm going to hit the back button one more time. Oh, sorry, hit the back button too far. TV shows, same idea, the exact same idea except you search most popular featured TV shows. So I'm gonna just go into featured. All right, and as you can see, here are some of the featured. So I'll select Bones. That one's clearly popular. And it gives you all the seasons, one through 10. And then if you select a season, it's going to give you every episode within that season with the title. It's working. And there you have it. I'll just go ahead and play one just to give you an idea. They're all DVD versions. So the quality of the picture is probably going to be pretty decent. Yep, it's a 
pretty good picture. I'm just going to go ahead and pause it for you. And hit the back button one more time. And again and again. Until we get back to the main hold the screen. Searching within movie apps. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. You're going to scroll down to video add-ons. This is where all the add-ons are. The first section where it says all movies and TV is just this main one channel app. So you don't have to worry about searching for that within movie apps because it's the first all movies and TV add-on that you're searching in. Beach is adult entertainment. And these are all just add-ons and some of them the title tells you exactly what it is. Here's Fox News. We go ahead and select it. News clips. U.S. Crime. And then it gives you just the basic titles. I mean, you can... I'm not sure how up-to-date this add-on is. I think this is from today because I was watching this earlier at the gym. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the pause button and hit back until we get to the add-ons list. Genesis is the next best place to find movies and TV and it has high definition options. You would just go ahead and select movies or TV or channel whatever it is and then you can search within all these um, options too. I'm gonna go with latest HD movies and then we'll just do the movie home These ones are set up a little different. Obviously, they give you the number of how many links there are. It does say high definition or high quality, both the same thing. Um, we'll go ahead and choose the second one, Ice Films. Sometimes it takes a minute, especially if you had another movie running or something else running before that. I'm going to cancel it. When things like this happen, you just hit cancel, then select it again and just select another link select the first link see if that works better okay it says no stream available at the top so then we're gonna go movies HD and there it is eventually usually one out of three works okay guess that didn't work I guess home wasn't a good um, option for maybe because it hasn't hit DVD yet so they don't have the high definition out let's try American Sniper I'm pretty sure that's out on DVD already I just chose the first one is working in the top right corner. If it 
sometimes it ha if it needs a chance to buffer, it'll pause for a second. But as you can see, this is a really great picture. I actually have not seen this movie yet, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it and hit the back button. Until we get to, oops, the same list. I just want to scroll down. I'll have separate videos for all this other stuff. Don't worry, I'm not skipping anything. But I want to show you the get more option here. So if there's something that you can't find in this list, you just select get more. And this is where you could find all the foreign and domestic and just any other add-on that you think that you would need. There are like thousands of them, so I'm not going to go through this whole list. But just to give you an idea, and then you'll see, like at the bottom, it um, it gives you a brief like description of what each add-on is. Like this one says, stream scene releases from the link listed. So that's just the basic walkthrough on how to search all movies and TV and any other um, stuff that you're looking for. I will have special videos for each individual add-on. I just wanted to give you the basics on movies and TV because those are most popular. Thank you for watching.